Hello, this is John Sims with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video, we'll take a quick tour of the Avaya IP Office online knowledge base. First, some notables about the knowledge base, which contains technical information for IP Office, the telephony system itself, and all the related applications. As you see there, under that first bullet, there's the hyperlink, the URL for the knowledge base is under marketingtools.avaya.com front slash knowledge base. It does require Avaya single sign-on or SSO login for the technical manual side of the knowledge base. The user guides remain open to the public. All information is archived for the various IP Office releases including past releases showcasing technical help pages, product descriptions, installation guides, interoperability guides, and quick reference. It should be noted that the documentation postings are actually mirroring what is posted already on support.avaya.com. The online knowledge base is more of a convenience tool and at any time Avaya may migrate the functionality of the online knowledge base into support.avaya.com. So here we are at the knowledge base actual landing page and you'll see in the middle of the graphic icon list there's user guides. When you hover over them they'll change color to a full color icon. If you click on these user guides you'll see that they'll render on the screen with a full table of contents on the left hand panel. So you can check or click on each user guide that interests you. And you see it's tied per release. You'll see at the top level navigation you can change as well to the various guides or go to quick reference or tutorials on the web page. So as I return to the landing page, I want to point out that the user guides have a quick mode, a partner mode, and a North Star mode, which will of course launch you into those various modes of operation as far as user guides as well. Those will be those topics based on what you select. Now the technical manual section you see that has a lock pad that is for SSO subscribers only. If you click on it you'll be redirected to the Avaya single sign-on page where you have to have a login credential to to gain access to these technical manuals. So you see um, that padlock icon you'll see the little indicator at the bottom says requires a login. So as you see I've been redirected to the login page and I've entered my credentials and click submit and you'll see the knowledge base start to load and as the knowledge base loads we're letting this run real time you'll see what I make most use of and which you may as well is there's a search functionality bar in the upper left corner there's also a table of contents on the left hand side which gives you various drop down expansion options on the various topics. At the top of the screen you can also use that navigation tool on the site to jump to various topics either by documents by application or documents by type. Um, I'll give a short tutorial on finding a few topics here and then in the middle of the page you have your knowledge base news which you can subscribe to and most of these are going to be application notes that Avaya is producing and you'll see that again you can subscribe by email you can um, also add to your news feeder and subscribe um, based on browser subscription as well so again these are mainly application notes you see they're all padlocked meaning it requires login to be able to view those application notes so let's scroll back up and take advantage of the search functionality on the site. You see in the um, search window I'm putting in B179 and then I'll click the arrow to query. You'll see the first two um, results are PDFs for user guides and as you see they're the short summary installation and administration manuals. So you see they're clearly labeled as PDFs. I'm going to go to an online knowledge page which is the third option there and you'll see other query results below it as well it'll pull up the online information 
and you see that we're underneath product description telephones B100 conferencing telephones and you'll see that the B179 is highlighted in the text because that's what you queried on so it's making clear indication clear highlight of what you're querying on on the left hand side you see I'm looking around at the product description table of contents so you can quickly jump to other other areas in the knowledge base so again, you have web browser control to scroll down, collect information. You can highlight text and copy it, like the fact that the B179 is supported on IP Office 7.0 or later. Um, also, if you want to share this information, um, again, showing there that we have third-party endpoint licenses not required for the B179. So let's say this page is very informative and helpful and you want to send it to someone. You can give them direct link access by simply highlighting the hyperlink URL at the bottom of the page and of course sharing the URL with someone who also has access to the knowledge base you can leave out the question mark on which is showcasing that we're highlighting on B179 so if you leave that out you'll share a page that is not fully highlighted then in that manner I'll go ahead and paste in the direct access link the direct URL I should say to show you the difference as you see now none of the B179 text is highlighted rendering a much cleaner page as far as sharing capabilities are concerned and again when you do share a direct link you still retain functionality of the table of contents on the left side so now let's get back to the landing page of the knowledge base and perform one more search this time on DTE and you'll see the various articles on the left side appear for DTE major references with DTE I'll um, select DTE port settings just, just to showcase that in the knowledge base it's not just text, it's also graphics, it's also all the data details, all the technical details that are, that are contained um, in the online help pages of the manager application and also in all of the various documentation sources are then searchable and browsable here on the online knowledge base which gives us quite an advantage as far as being a useful reference tool. Thank you for your time today. We welcome questions, comments, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.